Hello everyone, welcome to today's Alibaba Cloud Academy online public course. Today's topic is key management service. So at the very beginning, I will introduce what the key management service is and what it can do to help you to solve your, you know, the data encryption and decryption problem. And then I will introduce two major scenarios the key management service can deal with. And at the very end, I will do some uh, demo to show how we can use the master key to encrypt and decrypt some plain text. Also, I will do another demo to show how to use the master key to generate the data key. And we use the data key to do the encryption and the decryption as well. Okay, let's say uh, what the key management service, uh, the details. Key management service is a secure and easy to use management service provided by Alibaba Cloud, precisely uh, to protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of your keys. And the KMS will actually securely and conveniently manage your keys and allow you to focus more on developing the encryption decryption function scenarios. Uh, there are three major highlights I want to uh, highlight here. Uh, when I say the easy integration, it is about actually in the two major very important uh, storage service provided by Alibaba Cloud like the RDS and the OSS, we are actually we are leveraging the KMS service uh, to do the encryption and decryption. And also uh, the KMS has another functionality we call them the envelope encryption technology. It will uh, use the CM key to generate the data key uh, to help you to gain some other kind of scenario uh, to protect your data. Also, uh, talking about the scalability and the durability, uh, KMS will copy several different copies of your master key and to maintain a high availability and high durability. And also, it will poten potentially to deploy uh, in multi-available zones uh, in one region so that you can always uh, have your key available. Uh, here are the two major scenarios uh, we can uh, leverage uh, KMS to implement. The first one is uh, we call them the, the master key scenario. Uh, we can uh, take the HTTP certification as an example. Uh, for example, if you want to encrypt a small size file, and you can just use the master key uh, to call the function like the encrypt. Uh, and then give him the plain text file, like a certification file. Uh, then the KMS will return you with the certified, with the encrypted uh, certification file. And now you can just uh, store the file into the storage uh, where you want. And when you want to decrypt, right, you can just uh, using the API again to retrieve the file and use the master key to decrypt it. Uh, it's a very straightforward scenario. Uh, there's another scenario we uh, uh, actually involve uh, the data key. Uh, usually in this scenario, uh, we want to uh, do a lot of uh, massive data, a large amount of data encryption. So the first thing you need to do is to call uh, the KMS uh, service to generate the data key for you. Uh, here, uh, the, the little green uh, and red keys are the data keys we generated for the, for the colors. Uh, the red color means it's uh, not an encrypted one. The green color is an encrypted one. After you um, call the service from KMS, uh, you got two keys. Uh, you know, the plain text key and also the encrypt key. Then you can use the original key to encrypt uh, the, any file you want to. Right, and then put it in the storage. At the same time, you can just put the encrypt key directly in the storage. Uh, so you can keep them all safely there. Uh, if you want to decrypt them, uh, the first thing you need to do definitely is to retrieve both the uh, encrypted files, uh, but you send the encrypt key to the KMS to, uh, to get it decrypted, right? Then you use this key to uh, decrypt another file and you get the plain text. So these two scenarios uh, very well illustrate the uh, major functions that KMS can help you.
Now let's show how to use the KMS master key to do the plain text encryption and decryption. Uh, let's go to the console first. Um, let's start from here. Uh, we can find the key management service here and the things you need to do is to create one key from here. You just type in some comments you need to do uh, to show the purpose of the, the key. Um, what I need to do is um, I already have some uh, pre-created pre key there. Uh, for example, I'm going to use this one. We call them the hands-on lab. And there's some information, uh, detailed information shows for, for the key if you click the key link. Uh, what you need to remember is that this one is uh, very important and you need to remember this is your key ID. And another thing you need to do is because we are going to go to the ECS uh, terminal to use the uh, Alibaba Cloud command line to do the KMS demonstration, uh, we need to have some uh, access key first. Uh, what we need, usually the suggested, recommended um, action is to go to the RAM and create one user for this particular demo. The user I created key is called is KMS user and I already create uh, one access key pair uh, for it. I'm going to use this one and for the demo. Now let's go to the ECS uh, console. I already log into one of the ECS and uh, what we need to do is firstly you need to have Ali uh, command line installed, right? And the, after you install the Ali uh, client command line, uh, you can have the KMS service uh, installed also. And they will show you all the functions they support from the uh, command line. What we need to do is to, you know, I already have some pre uh, command uh, recorded here. I can just copy and paste. Uh, copy, paste. So the first thing we need to do is to use uh, the KMS service to call the encryption function to encrypt a plain text like this is a test. Um, the access key and the access key secret is the one I just shown uh, from uh, our RAM user. And the KID here, the parameter here, is just what we show like um, this one, right? Uh, this is the KID we are using. Uh, now we can just click the return and we got this file, uh, sorry, this uh, text file, text encrypted. And what we want to do is a decryption. Uh, now we want to cop, copy uh, this one, oh, sorry, this one. Copy, paste. Uh, we are going to call the decryption uh, function and similar parameters for access key pair and the key ID. And what we need to do is to copy the encrypted file content here and we click return. Then you see that they actually uh, get this uh, text decrypted. So this is the first time we want to show you how you use key MS to just use a master key to do the text encryption and decryption. Now let's show how to use the master key to generate a data key. Then use that data key to encrypt some files and also decrypt. We also need to go to this console. Um, I already have some uh, Python code uh, written. Uh, you can just uh, look into this and in, in the reference. I have one uh, file called encrypt and I had another file called decrypt. The purpose of this two file is to show how can we use the data key to do the file encryption. Now you can, I can just show you how we can uh, do this um, just very quick. Person, the password. Password is a, is a plain text 
file contains some uh, very sensitive information. Uh, you can do this one, like, so the program is showing that uh, what is uh, original content and after the encryption, uh, what we have. Then we can use the decryption uh, script to do the decryption uh, because uh, they ha we have separate file already stored there. I will do the decryption, right? Now you have all the content uh, back. Uh, so how, how the trick is done? I will show you a little bit about the, the code itself. Let's see the encryption first. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, put away all the little bit detailed stuff and some of the key steps here is like you need to have all those informations like we just did in the command line uh, demo you still need to have the user key, user security, region, and the the KMS master key ID, those kind of information. Then you algorithm, organize them and parameter to generate a client object. From that object, you can do the following stuff. The first one, the first thing is uh, you need to, you know, generate the data key, right here. Uh, you, you got a object again and you set all this content and they do the action and you have a data key generated. The, the data key is generated can be um, plain text and also uh, inc also encrypted. Uh, then you can just use this uh, data key to do the encryption. And you will come here. This is the encryption file, encryption, right? Then you got the encryption file. And how the decryption was done? Decryption is just a reversed uh, process. Uh, the first thing is now you have the separate, the separate key, which is our data key, uh, already be written into some of the files. And you do the decryption and to get the data key again back right here you get the data key and you use the data key to do the decryption the decryption is just here right yeah it's a very straightforward um, process and you can uh, just uh, maybe stop here and look into the code for details but all in all, uh, from this demo, I'm, I'm showing you how to use uh, uh, Python SDK uh, to call the KMS service and generate the data key and use it to encrypt and decrypt your plain text file. Okay, in today's uh, course, we introduce the basic highlights of uh, Alibaba Cloud key management service. And also we introduce two major scenarios uh, the first one is to use mask key directly to do the data encryption decryption. And the second one is uh, you can use the mask key to <coughs> generate some data key. Then uh, you can use the data key to do the encryption and decryption as well. The two demos is just a real uh, practice to show you how to implement that two kind of uh, scenarios. So for more product details and uh, you, if you really want to know more about our key management service, you can just visit uh, this URL and got more rich content and information from there. Uh, thank you for watching.